To touch on iron and endurance athletes, I know that's another hot button issue. Typically, you see this because of fatigue and, and performance issues. Um, iron's ne necessary to <coughs> component in the blood to help carry oxygen to the muscles. And without enough iron, your body won't function properly. Healthy iron levels are dependent on overall wellness. Women or girls may experience more losses because of their periods. Male athletes may, um, there's some, some thought that the pounding when you're running can cause uh, blood cells to break. I think there's also a sports anemia because there's an increased blood volume, so your actual values are gonna be diluted. And if your kids aren't sleeping well enough, they may not be absorbing iron as well as they should. One of the keys here is to consult a physician. <laughs> I wouldn't say you, someone's feeling tired and fatigued, take iron. Number one, you want to make sure that that really is the problem. There's probably all sorts of other reasons and you don't want to just have someone taking iron and that not be the problem. Also, there's a lot of other reasons, like if they're taking iron and their levels aren't improving, then what's going on? Maybe they're taking a lot of ibuprofen and it's causing some GI irritation and they're losing blood. Or maybe they have gluten intolerance, which uh, makes it so they can't absorb iron. So there are a lot of other reasons. So I think it's always good to consult a physician. Make sure they check a ferritin level. <laughs> that's actually tells you the iron stores and that's probably the more important value and I think what they look for now is about 35 to 40 for the for the actual number um, <clears throat> and that just you know as as someone trains then they'll be they'll have the stores they need to continue to make the hematocrit and the hemoglobin and make sure your doctor knows that your your um, athlete is a runner and knows to compare them to those levels <laughs>